Jose Barrios has put together a terrific year. A great run at the beginning of the season and maybe an even better run here to end the season. Yeah, he's really finishing up on a high note. When you look at what he's done, seven times he's won at least 10 games. He's 16 and 10 this season. And he has 99 career wins. If he wins his 100th tonight, he'll be just the 21st active pitcher to have 100 or more wins in the major leagues. He's had a terrific season trying to put a bow on this great season here in 2024. Xavier Edwards who was called up in July he's hitting over 300 and he is a burner he's got 31 stolen bases check the swing or did he he did not he went around says third base umpire Chris Guccione Edwards in disbelief did he say I swung and the answer is yes well he looked like he did check his swing I right so there too, yeah. and that's why he's so surprised that he's called out Connor Norby who had a rough day yesterday turns that one around and shoots it the other way for a base hit. One on and two out for Jesus Sanchez. 5 for 14 against Twins pitching. And he rockets this one toward the gap in right center field. That's going to get down. Norby off on the crack of the bat with two outs. Getting the green light around third base. No throw home. RBI double. And a quick start for the Marlins. 1 nothing. And he jumps all over that first piece of cheese uh, that Barrios tries to sneak by him. Left his bat well over 100 miles an hour. He's finishing strong. Jonah Bright up to the plate now. Credit to the Marlins for getting going early in this game of 1 nothing in the top of the first. And Bright sends a ball out toward deep left field. This one's back at the wall and it's gone. A two run home run for Jonah Bright and it's 3 nothing. Tremendous piece of hitting here by Jonah Bright who has that slow heartbeat. Breaking ball bottom of the zone. He waited just long enough to get underneath it. That's one of the things that he told me he's been working on. For the Marlins, it'll be 29 year old Adam Aller. And Aller has bounced around a bit. Former 20th round pick of the Pirates back in 2016. Fly ball, right center field, playable. Stowers out there makes the catch. One out, Nathan Lucas is up. Swing and a liner sinking in left field. That's down for a base hit. Blocked by Conine on a hop. Single for Nathan Lucas. The Blue Jays have a base runner on as they try to work back from this 3 nothing deficit in the first. Guerrero steps in at 325, 30 home runs, and 102 driven in. And this is a base hit into center. Lucas up to second on the play, and Guerrero now two hits away from 200. And that's a very lofty plateau, and I'm sure one of these a lot to Vladdy Guerrero get that. 200 hits out of the way. Lifted toward left field. Conine toward the line. And he'll have plenty of room for the second out. Reaches down, grabs that one, and the underhand flip to work out of the jam in the first inning. 3 0 Marlins after one. Two in scoring position with one out of the infield in for the Blue Jays as it's back around at the top of the order. And shortstop Xavier Edwards, who struck out. Why not just tack on? Keep the runs coming here and the threats against Barrios. They might get it. That's a fair ball. Down the line. Two runs will score easily. Edwards thinking about three. He's on his way with a two RBI triple. What a start for the Marlins. I don't know if Barrios uh, came into this contest kind of looking past the Marlins like it was going to be an easy assignment for him, but it has been anything but that. He has given up a five spot. And a big smile from Xavier Edwards. A stand up triple, his third of the season. He gets a cutter in on his hands, but he turns on it so quick, gets those hands through, and able to sneak that ball all the way down the right field line. Two out single for Otto Lopez, and the Marlins have runners on the corners. Trying to score for a third straight inning. And that goes all the way to the backstop. Here comes Sanchez. He's going to score. Six to nothing Miami. It's tough to uh, block a ball uh, down in the dirt when you have that one knee on the ground uh, like Kirk does. Not what we were expecting, though. We've said it a couple times, but Barrios in eight starts coming into this one was the winner in seven of them and had a one and a half ERA already six hits on the day for the Marlins three walks and now a wild pitch pushing across another run Springer takes a walk so it's two on nobody out now Nathan Lucas who had a base hit to left his first time up and a curveball lined hard to right field and this is going to be off the wall on the fly. Jimenez will come into score. Springer to third. Lucas into second with an RBI double. Another breaking ball. This time he hits this one to right. Again, he comes up with a big hit to get the Blue Jays back in this game. So one down. Here's Spencer Horwitz, who's going to ground one into right center for a base hit. 
And two runs will come into score, and it's a six to three ball game. Man, that's a good piece of hitting right there. He was ready for that first pitch and takes it right back up the middle. That's a big two out hit. New pitcher for the Blue Jays is Easton Lucas. Edwards swings and he lofts one in the air towards the gap in right center field. Going back and unable to make the catch is Classe. It bounces against the wall. Edwards around second, headed towards third. He's got his second triple of the ball game. I thought that was a routine fly ball to right center field. It just kept carrying, and Classe got back to the warning track, and he simply couldn't reel it in. Brings up Jake Berger. 0 for 2. Infield stays in with one out now. That's a base hit into left center field with the infield in. An easy knock for Berger, and the Marlins get one back. And Marlins need to score as many runs as they can because it looks like it's going to be one of those games today. Marlins have them loaded now after a single and two walks. Griffin Conine is going to be the batter with the bases loaded and one out. Griffin Conine with a blooper into shallow right field. That's a base hit. It's going to play the pair. Nine to three Miami. A broken bat bloop single into right field by Griffin Conine. Bottom of the fourth inning, Marlins with a commanding 9-3 lead over the Blue Jays. Ernie Clement gets into one, and this one is going to be well out of here. A no-doubter for Clement, his 12th home run of the season. Murray continues to have a banner season, best of his career, best opportunity to play, and he's really done a great job. Kirk is 0 for 2, trying to extend that hitting streak to an 18-gamer, and he will. Lines it into right. Horwitz up to second. Well, that's a pretty stroke. When he stays in that direction, he can handle just about any pitch. That was a breaking ball away from him. And he ripped it into right field. So just like that, it's an 18-game hit streak for Alejandro Kirk. The base is loaded one out, and the Marlins up 9-4. to four. Guerrero with a chance to really change this game with one swing. High fly ball, center field. But it is playable on the track for Stowers. Class A will tag and score. Jimenez will come to third. A long sack fly and an RBI for Guerrero to make it 9-5. to five. Well, Obviously, he just missed his sixth career grand slam. Got under just a tad. 9-5, to five, the Marlins leading the Blue Jays. Two RBI single in the fourth inning for Conine. Lifts one out toward pretty deep left field. This one's back at the wall, and it's gone. A home run for Griffin Conine in the opposite field. That ball just kept carrying and carrying and carrying until it got out of here. But he is very strong. He can hit him a long way. Exit velocity just 97 miles an hour. A home run against his former organization. So here is Edwards with first and second and one away. Edwards may as well get greedy. He's already tripled twice today. Order run and driven in two. And this one is ripped toward the corner in right and it gets down off the base of the wall. That'll bring home a couple. Stowers rounding no throw home. It goes to third and that's three triples for Xavier Edwards tonight. No way. No way. I guess he got greedy Paul. He got greedy. What a night. And Edwards, by the way, has just tied a major league record. Three triples in a game. And just the 49th time in major league history. That's a base hit up the middle, and Edwards will score easily. Norby comes through. His third hit tonight after a rough day in Minnesota yesterday. And the Marlins with 13 runs on the board. Berger down the right field line and a fair ball. Norby to third and the ball rattles around. Here comes Norby. Throw to third again. And Berger is safe. With a triple. <laughs> now the Blue Jays are challenging, I believe, the play here at third. After review, the call the field is over. Turn the runners out. Toronto will retain their challenge. This has been, though, in all seriousness, really a nice couple of days offensively here for the Marlins. And maybe it's not done yet because Jonah Bride is going deep out to left and he homers again. Jonah Bride with another home run. Well, more quality at bats for Bride, Rod. He's had a nice two months. Uh, that much we do know. He looks good in that batter's box. Speaking of Skip, we learned earlier that this will be the last game that he manages this year is going to step away from the team for uh, the last couple of days 
and hop a flight back home to California a health issue in the family. We wish him uh, luck with that first and foremost. There's a ground ball hit to third. This should do it. Norby's got it sets his feet. Good strong throw to first and the ball game is over. And the Marlins in game one of a three game series this weekend come away with a 15 to 5 victory.